Wagon Trail Ranch, it's uh, approximately 644 acres total, 219 properties ranging from one to 19 acres. I walked out my door one day and it was a very still, hot day. And I thought, man, this is fire weather. This, mm -hmm. is, this is a tinderbox getting ready to explode. Basically, this started out with, uh, with Echo obtaining grant money and, and a small group of, of residents would, would go out and they had a, a pickup truck and a flatbed trailer and they would, they would go out and trim bushes and trees and so forth and try and alleviate the hazards along the road. You know, Wagon Trail had, you know, some really great spark plugs out here, Marty being one of them. And, you know, we started doing different programs and writing individual grants. Well, and throughout the state in 2014, um, we started seeing hotter temperatures and lower humidities across the state. And earlier fire season, later yep. fire season, and it started changing at that time, increasing the risk here. Given this situation where you have soils that are less productive and you have lodgepole pine, which in itself overcrowding makes it open to insect and disease, creating more dead fuel, creating more of a fire yep. hazard, that um, it was time. And, and being a responsible, conscientious fire protection association and landowners association, it was natural for you to get together and to help the people who live here. The lodge pole you see here comes up after a disturbance, after a fire. When they came up this dense, they, they grow to a point where they become stressed out. And lodge pole is very prone to be hit by insect and disease. The sap you see there is damage uh, from a stressed tree. They're not meant to be this old and this close together. The hazard of fire, it's at high risk, not only from being so dense and having dead fuel this low to the ground, but dry fuel too. So the drier the fuel is, the more fuel there is, the more the trees stress out, die, fall, and create even greater loads of dead fuel, the greater the intensity of fire, if fire should hit that. One of the main things we try to do is get our property owners involved and, and get them to clean up their properties. We're trying to mitigate all the excessive fuel that we have in our common areas. And the thinning and so forth really helps out with the, the forest health in general, especially in our current drought conditions. The uh, drought conditions have, uh, have really made it critical that, that trees are thinned out because as you can see here, the disease and, and the bugs such as the pine beetle have really spread out. The pine beetle will jump from tree to tree and uh, in, infect a, a large area and that's, that's what we're seeing here. This is from mountain pine beetle. There's probably some mistletoe issues. You can see where it's kind of spreading throughout the forest here. You can start seeing where the, the bark is starting to slough off. The trees are obviously dead. What they're doing, they're reducing the risk to the hazard of fire from keeping the spread of fire down. And they're also maintaining a, a spacing of trees so even lodgepole, if spaced out enough, can be healthy longer and resist insect and disease hits. When we used to drive into Wagon Trail, the lot that was cleaned and cleared and mitigated was the hardest to find. Now it's, it's the overgrown lots that nothing has been done that is um, harder to find. People have come together and, and worked really hard on, on mitigating their lots and the knowledge base that they're getting through the FireWise, you know, the education, seeing other fires in the communities. Um, and in Oregon, that's, that's definitely eye-opening and residents and property owners are, are wanting to, to make their properties as fire safe as possible.